So we are looking at the TI Inspire, uh, or actually the TI Inspire CX, with uh, 3.1 operating system. So when you get up to 3.0, then we have 3D. Uh, notice the cute little tip here about if you press A, then it begins to auto-rotate this sphere, which definitely looks fairly similar from the X direction or the Y direction. <laughs> Uh, something interesting is going on in the Z, and you can just use the arrows to rotate it around however you would like to rotate it. <laughs> X to go back there. Uh, this one has a little slider on it, so we can make it a larger or smaller sphere. So you can have the sphere of whatever size you want. And if we were to press Tab, Tab a couple times, w, uh, let's get out of there. Um, or control G works great. Then we can see what was going on. Here we have the the negative of whatever was in Z1. Here we have hmm, what's going on here? Uh, a real component of the square root of an R squared minus X squared plus Y squared. All right. Here's some instructions on the next page of how we got it to look like this. So here's the instructions. If you want to get this file and and read about it. Um, on your own, then you can get this file off of the TI Inspire Google Group website. And here is what that looks like. Um, I'm under the TI, TNS files, as in the TI Inspire files, and these files talked about how you can be they can be viewed with a document player. And if we go down just a little bit, then we have some pleasant 3D files, like a 3D cone and plane, as in get a visual of conics. The 3D sphere is what we're looking at right now. And if we go down a little bit further, page down, page down, then we get to some nice calculus files, including 3D Solids of Revolution. And that was just a little see what it can do. And here's a full-fledged uh, activity that will be coming out on the TI Math website, Solids of Revolution. <laughs> Let's go back and take a look at what the present situation is. If you were to open up a new document, if we were to go to uh, home and and choose a new document then if we pick graphs how do we do 3d well like anything if you press menu and it's gonna be under view so it's gonna be somewhere under the menu and you just have to look to see which will make sense and and we can only be wrong so many times and it is a view it's a 3d graphing view and there it is now 3D, even though it seems like it's a college level activity, you can do certain things and, and, and then extend them a little bit, so extend students' knowledge. If we have x squared, then uh, as viewed straight on from this direction with the, uh, the x axis and the z axis, then it looks just like a parabola. Pressing tab and up arrowing to change it. So what if we had x squared plus y squared? If we had x squared plus y squared, we have a paraboloid, which is useful in the world around us um, with uh, those things that people have on top of their houses for a satellite TV, uh, also like perhaps a searchlight. And here's something nice and cute. If you go to menu and we were to look at uh, the... the uh, Mm -hmm. the range. We could shrink the box and magnify the box. And also we've already talked about the orientation, pressing X, Y, Z, or, or, or the O. Alright, let's take a look at um, if I were to do the uh, the times or the divide by buttons, I can zoom in and zoom out. Another question you might ask is, uh, hey, your sphere looks really colorful and pretty. How do I change that? Well, there's this uh, button called right click, uh, a little, well, actually, key combination. This icon right above here, a lot of computers have an icon that looks fairly similar to that. Control menu is right click, and we can change the color. This is going to be a, a custom plot color. And how about we vary by the height or vary by the steepness? Hmm, let's vary by the steepness. Okay. So there is our lovely, attractive paraboloid. Now, how could we do a sphere? How can we ex extend our knowledge of circles? A circle, the equation for a circle is x squared plus y squared is equal to whatever the radius squared is. Hmm, how could we extend that knowledge? I'm going to press shift and arrow over and select all of this. 
And then what I want to do is I want to put that inside of a square root. Because we want to graph, um, well, the top part of our sphere. Uh, again, sphere, uh, circle x squared plus y squared equals the radius squared. So with a sphere, we have x squared plus y squared plus z squared is equal to the radius squared. So let's solve that equation for z. And you would have whatever your radius is, let's say 4 squared. And then those come over to the other side of the equal sign. Uh, so minus the x squared plus y squared. So here it is. Hmm. My sphere does not look like it c connects. Well, part of the reason why is because we're graphing a function and it doesn't have anything to, to connect it to. There's nothing um, to connect. Um, the other part of it is um, a vertical line would not be a function. And, and so here's a little uh, trick about that that we were just reading about. If you were to, to change the settings to, um, and how do we change the settings? So if we, um, you could press this little icon up here. Sure, you can find it under dock or, or home number uh, five. But if you were to uh, uh, change the settings of the, the general settings, go down and change it to the, uh, from real into rectangular. Then, well, that still doesn't do it, does it? Um, as we showed you from the previous page, if you do real, if we do the real component of it, ta-da, there it graphs the top part of the sphere, and it looks a little nicer. Sure, you have this line, but if you look at it straight on in the uh, x perspective, or, or the y, then it looks really nice. Let's uh, do the negative of the z1, x comma y, and there's the bottom part. Isn't that lovely? All right. Um, and we, we could change the attributes of this, the color that is, custom plot, to uh, vary it by steepness so that we would have some, some symmetry. Maybe you don't like those wire on there. That's going to be an attribute. So we could right click and change the attributes. Um, here's the surface and wire, here's just the surface only. If you thought it looked a bit hmm, um, pixelated, granulated, then you could increase the, the resolution, the X and the Y resolution. So how can we do that? And it recommends not changing it above 50 on the device. On the software, you could change it above that. But what, let's see if it looks better if we put it to 30. And then we'll change that to 30 um, as well. Enter. Enter. So makes it a little smoother. And that's what's going on. We could do that with the, the bottom part as well. One more thing I really want to show you is solids of revolution. Um, control up arrow is a nice way to move through the pages and um, without making somebody dizzy. Oh, this is nice. Look at this. Um, have a little play button going. And um, how did we do this? Well, um, again, this little part over here, arrowing around, was done with doing the real part of it. And you would see that by um, going up or down to, uh, and you would see that, that line over there. X. So let's view this. There we go. If you change the view to the computer view, then you could see more about what happened, about what was what was graphed. There we go. So we have the Z part, and uh, so it's a real part of this is how we can take whatever is in F1 over here on the right panel. We could take whatever function is graphed, F1 of X, square that minus the Y squared, square root, and then we're going to be able to get that rotated about that axis. So, and then there's one other page that's that's quite attractive, and to get there nice and quick, I will again control up arrow and do 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 do. do. <laughs> that's a nice sphere. Do, do, do. Okay, this page is is pretty neat. I've got uh, um, the little slabs, and if we make more and more and more little tiny slabs, you can you can move this slab around to see what it looks like it's mo moving. Um, show or hide. Oh yeah, look at that. So, hiding all those little extra pieces. So, uh, this one is, is quite nice. So we can, again, take any function if you wanted to change it instead of doing sine, if you wanted to see what it looks like for cosine, then there you could do that. Or if you wanted to change that frequency, then, hmm, interesting. 
about um, 1.5. <laughs> and then if you come over here, then you could rotate that around and, and get some, some nice perspective about what is going on. Um, and again, you can move this little thing over here. So this is in Solids of Revolution, which will be coming out to, to TI Math um, sometime in the next uh, couple months or so. Um, hope you enjoyed the video, and hope.